Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Friday. A test drive takes a dramatic turn when a woman allegedly steals a car, leading police on a chase that came to a splashing end on the highway. Video showing officers jumping into a pond off the Palmetto Expressway near Northwest 25th Street as they try to take that woman into custody. All started Thursday afternoon at a South Miami Honda dealer on South Dixie Highway. As soon as the salesman exited the car, officers say Melina Logan hit the gas. She crashed into four other cars before eventually ditching that sedan. She is facing charges of grand theft and battery. U.S. Customs and Border Protection investigating a possible smuggling operation in Hollover Beach. Cell phone video taken from witnesses showing a group of people jumping from a single engine speedboat. Beachgoers say at least three people were taken into custody. CPB called it an investigation of a possible smuggling event. It's still unclear who the people are or where they came from. Local 10 was there as suspected shooter Jairo Bonilla walked out of Homestead PD in cuffs. Bonilla accused of firing shots at 16 year old now fighting for his life. The victim there for the sale of a motorbike was ambushed instead. Police believe two adults and two teens attempted to rob that victim, his friend and sister before opening fire. 19 year old Aureliano Gomez was also arrested. He faced a judge on Thursday. A newly released dash cam video showing the crashing end of a wild police chase in Miami Gardens. Troopers tried to stop a stolen blue Infinity SUV on Florida's Turnpike near Northwest 27th Avenue last month. Video showing the SUV crush crash into a police cruiser before the driver ran from that scene. Troopers found Daquan Xavier Anderson shortly after. He is now facing several charges. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you coved on air and online. Head to local10.com throughout the day for more local news coverage and updates.